So in our previous segments, we looked at loading the software onto your MacBook or Windows machine. We talked about configuring your cameras using the uh, system interface. Now we're gonna talk about audio. The biggest change from the earlier ATM software to the current ATM software is, of course, the ability to carry audio over SDI or HDMI via embedded audio. That assumes your camera supports that. Now, again, SDI, you know, almost 100% of the time carries embedded audio. HDMI, I've run into very few that don't. So that is an option to get your audio into the uh, uh, ATM software, especially on the ATM TV Studio, which does not have analog inputs. Uh, on previous videos, we talked about the Behringer SRC2496 as being your best choice for $200 in order to get analog audio into the ATM TV studio. And that's what we're gonna look at how to set up now. So basically in the rack, we have a Behringer eight, uh, SRC2496 connected to the output of itself into the uh, AES EBU in, which is done via RCA and a BNC connector. So basically when we ship these systems, maybe a lot is configured, the BNC is already in place on the ATM TV studio, the RCA cables there to hook and we're ready to go. We're gonna talk about the front panel. Now again, the biggest change uh, is that we no longer have to choose AES EBU as a source within the software. It's automatically recommended as EXT in the software interface. That assumes that you've configured your SRC2496 correctly in order for it to be seen. If we had audio connected directly, we'd be seeing meters right now, but we're gonna go over those settings. To make sure our audio works correctly in the Blackmagic setup on the Behringer front panel, we need to do the following. Set the mode to A to D, D and A. Sample rate, 48. Clock, internal. Format, AES EBU. Word length, 24 bit. And dither being on. If we have set that up correctly, we will see the external audio uh, signal right here, and we will have control over that external audio right here. One of the great things of the Behringer is that you no longer have to worry about which camera is giving you audio. Of course, one of the options in the software is to say, hey, camera one always give me audio, so you could avoid a mistake that way. But I really like it for coming off a mixer or a, a live uh, environment because it gives me a little bit more control over my audio, especially my gain levels. It allows me to have those much better than uh, using the small dials or the menu within the camera. So that's a great feature of using the Behringer for $200. So basically the configuration for the uh, ATM audio couldn't be easier these days. They've made it automatic. No more uh, check boxes within the software. Now we're gonna talk about some of the uh, features within the software itself. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.